Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome back to Sid Meier's Pirates. In the last episode, well, we were able to find out we could dance at least somewhat um, moderately poorly instead of horrendously. And the revenge took a bit of a beating, but we were able to find the location of our long-lost aunt. So we are traveling along the coast of Cuba right now, and once we find the town of San Jose, we just head straight south of it, and we should be able to find her. And the cool thing is there is a mission down the way, too. So we'll be, we'll, we'll be able to find Baron Raimundo's final location. Or not final location, but where he has hidden the grandfather. And then we should be good. And I'm probably going to have to uh, retire the crew here and split up the winnings because the crew is not happy. We have all kinds of... Uh, the fact that we have a quartermaster is probably keeping the crew from mutinying. But we are having people uh, abandon ship when we hit port. So here's Skull Cape. Where are we on the map here? Okay, San Jose is just down the line here a little bit. And the French are probably not happy with us after attacking that. There's a frigate. Fast Galleon. All these big ships are starting to show up now. There's San Jose. So, we will make landfall right here. Ah, no! I didn't want to go actually to San Jose. I wanted to land next to San Jose. There we go. Now... We need to get around that. There we go. And need to find our cabin. The captive cabin. And we are heading straight south, aren't we? Ah, there we go. There you are. That's another family member found. Another piece of the Marquis map. Let's see where it takes us. You've aged well, Aunt. I don't think I've aged pretty <laughs> well. So. <laughs> he was lurking in the city of Porto Cabello. Okay, so Porto Cabello is... Where's Porto Cabello? That's that's Portobello. We've got we had this before. Ah, we gotta head back down to South America. First off, though, I think we're gonna head to Albuquerque. Albuquerque is the largest city in New Mexico. Consult with the shipwright. Repair the Revenge all the way. Visit the tavern. Info about St. Kitts. Rock sits sails out of Port Keche near the city of Capeche. Really? I don't... Did we go down that way? You know what? I don't think we did. Holy crap. Okay, let's go ahead and divide the plunder. Um, we get 8,521. Let's do that. Your health is good, and the months pass, you quickly become bored with life at land, and so your flagship is refit and a bold crew assembled. We're going to continue as an adventurer, Captain. <clears throat> and it said our health was good, so we will keep on keeping on. And now we'll visit the tavern. No crew to be had. I think we'll have 40 people on the revenge. Yeah, the standard 40 crew with 10 months worth of food. And a happy crew. And due to all the new little toys we have, they should stay happy for quite some time. That's crazy. I don't believe that we did not go down this way. Yeah, Tom's Rest? Were we... Yeah, we never went this way. Look at all those bases. We can probably find Captain Kidd now. And then we'll track down the Marquis blow up his ship and all will be well 3,408 gold after refit that's just lovely and we're right down here and we'll head down this way see what trouble we can stir up 
I think most of our business was um, on the other coast near uh, Santa Catalina. It just we've never had to head this way. San Felix. And there's rock right there. Huzzah. The Royal Sloop, the Bloody Delight. Now, we better get a good grape shot in. Because they're going to ram us straight off. And we only have 40 crew. And let's see what happens here. And now Rock's still rocking out a Cutlass, so... Yeah, I am so slow. It's alright, Blackjack. You can still win through Guile. Allegedly. Just be patient. There we go. It's 35 to 47. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take on the Marquis. I think I'm going to be too old. 30 to 42... There we go. Whew. That fight with Captain Kidd's going to be uh, a bit rough. Oh, you ducked. Good on you, Rock. You gave me a good fight. And you had over 5,000 gold, Rock. How much? You got exactly. 5,600. Nice, nice. So let's fill up the food stores. That should make the crew very happy. And we'll sink that ship. And I think it's just me and Captain Kidd now. If I believe. Oh no, Stead Bonnet is still around too. Let's head into Port Catch and see if we can get some more crew. Since we only have 38 of them. 25 men. Welcome aboard, guys. Captain Kidd's buried treasure. Yes, I would love to tick off Captain Kidd. Pretty quiet around there. Daughter of Kempenche's daughter is a real looker. Alright, I we are going to find Captain Kidd down this way. I can almost guarantee it. We've looked everywhere else. Speak of the devil. The Brig of War Adventure Galley. Alrighty. Now... I don't want to destroy... I don't want to hurt this ship. But let's get a grape shot. Lower it just a bit. We're outnumbered by a hundred men. And there's Captain Kidd himself. It's one of my favorite running wild songs, actually. It's called The Ballad of William Kidd. If you ever get a chance to listen to it, it's an awesome eight-minute song. Okay. We just need to be patient, like we did with Rock. There we are. Patience, patience, patience. This is what we've. <laughs> this is what we came for. This is what we wanted. Nice. The adventure galley is ours. Bye, Captain Kid. That is a much crewman Cooper who can preserve food in sturdy barrels. Nice. Trust me, what happened to Captain Kidd just now, infinitely better than what happened to him in real life. And he had a lot of gold. And we are definitely keeping that ship. We'll take all the things. And plunder, plunder. And that means that we are pirate number one. Now, here in Port Cache, we're going to head in over here. And we're going to say goodbye to the Queen Anne's Revenge. Yeah, and upgrade chain shot on the adventure galley. And thank you very much, Queen Anne's Revenge. You'll go down in history. And we'll drop 88 tons of cargo. Now, how much... Okay, we've got 65 guns. Holy crap. How much can a Brig of War carry? Let's check the Piratopedia. Carry 32 maximum guns. So, we will go... We'll lower that down to 32. E 
and buy as much food as we can. That gives us nine months with only 21 tons. And while we are here, we're going to rename the ship. Oh, can we rename the ship? I don't know what this means, but... Ah! We're going to rename the ship because I said that we were going to. The Hell's Bells. And that is... That's Blackjack's uh, flagship. Alright, good deal. Let's visit the tavern. Info on the Florida Keys. Stead Bonnet. Port Sur, huh? That's along the way here. This is just Pirate Alley. And Havana, we need fine grade powder. So I know it's a smaller ship, guys, but it is it, it is definitely fierce. It's faster than the Queen Anne's and almost as heavily armed. I've won a lot of fights in this game with a Brig of War. Now, there's Port Sir, and there's Stead Bonnet. Then there was one. The Pirate Brigantine Revenge. So, let's become the only pirate in these waters worth having a name. <laughs> as I say that, as I totally miss all of our shots. Okay, oh, he nearly caught me in a sandbar. All right, step up. And look at you. Look like the Quaker Oat guy. I bet your ship is well fed. Or your crew is well fed. There we go. Come on, Blackjack. This is your last pirate. Everything else is just enemy ship captains. Baron Raimundo and the Marquis. Let's see if he ducks. I'm pretty sure he ducks due to how the music went. Oh! Look at you! Uh, my oatmeal! And one of the pirate crewmen is a skilled surgeon who can heal wounded crewmen. He's quickly persuaded to join our crew. We hadn't seen that one before. And he looks like Ben Franklin. And he had over 10,000. Awesome. So much gold, my friends. And we are going to sink the revenge. We have 48 tons. That gives us two years worth of food. And now we are the only pirates. The only named pirate in the Caribbean. If I recall correctly. Let's check the fleet status. Yep, everyone's been taken out. It's just me. Remember, guys, it's not about the uh, number of ships that you raid. It's the quality of them. Now, where were we going? We got distracted. Um, he was heading to... Oh, I have no idea where the Baron was heading to. He was heading to Porto Cabello. That is a long sail. But I think we can do it. We've got our flagship here. Which, I like it because it's it's halfway warship, halfway sloop. That's why I like the brig design so much. But even against the wind, you see how fast we're going? So I'll go ahead and start heading to Porto Cabello. Um, I'll obviously come back if anything interesting happens on the way. But I'll see you guys there. Okay, so I stopped in Rio de la Hacha and found out that the Marquis is heading to Margarita. And stopping at one of the missions, Baron Raimundo is heading to Santiago right now with m news about my grandfather. The last family member I have to get. So, <clears throat> we're going to track down the Marquis. Get his, uh, get another map fragment from him. And then, we are off and running. Off to the races. And Margarita should be right over here. Yeah, we're getting there. And this was not a short, this wasn't a long trip with the Brig of War. The Hell's Bells is a, hello there, Marquis. How you doing? Don't attack, not yet. 
Okay. Now we attack. Now, I cannot get into a sword fight with this guy. I am too... I am much too weak now. So we're going to have to use a lot of our speed. There we go. He's going to try and knock out our sails. And we are in much better shape. With a full 32. E. <clears throat> it's alright. We got people to repair our sails for us. Awesome. Well, we have 63 crew. And they are dead in the water. So, now all we gotta do is not ram into the ship and fight the Marquis and his 203 crewmen. We just have to plink him down to one, as we have done so many times in the past. Which shouldn't be too hard. But as you can see, this is a tough little ship. It took multiple broadsides from a flag galleon, and is about in the same state that the Queen Anne's Revenge was. And it only took one. It would only take one broadside before smoking. So, I am very, I am very happy with my investment. <clears throat> now nah, we're we're out of range from the grape shot, so let's sail down here. Starting to get dark out. Now I don't. The, if the fight with the Marquis, believe it or not, is still going to be tough, even if I hit him once and he surrenders because of how slow I am now with my age. But we'll just have to make the best of it. Fortunately, we've got some quick... Nope, you are not going to try and ram me. Not right now. I fight much dirtier than you. Forty-nine. Almost there. And I figure you'd think people would be putting out the fires on my ship by now. It truly is the Hell's Bells. Now, let's keep on going. Enough for a good broadside. 29. And maybe this will be the piece that we actually need. Because the Marquis Fort is al almost always in Mexico. We just need to find out where it, it's located. 14, one or two more salvos, and we should be ready. <clears throat> However, that's no slouch on the marquee. I mean, hell's bells. We've got to, uh, <laughs> pun intended, we have to destroy his ship down to the last man in order to take him out. He is a very formidable opponent, a worthy adversary. <clears throat> so, now let's pay a visit to him. And grab the rapier. Okay, here we go. Whew. Huzzah. Now. Search the vicinity of Veracruz. Blade Rock, we found it. <clears throat> and we will take your 5,000 gold. Gladly, Marquis. Nice. Sink the ship, replenish our guns. Was it 30, 32 guns? Yeah. It's 32 guns. And then 48. <clears throat> yeah, that's better. Excellent. Now, actually, let's head to. No. No, no, we gotta keep our eyes on the prize here. <clears throat> if I want, I'll go ahead and go to Port Royal if I need a promotion. <laughs> the crew is very, very happy. As would I be. Now to Santiago, we go. And it's a bit of a trip, so if we run into the Baron, if he's heading somewhere else, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Okay, we're here in Santiago. We didn't have to sneak in. And an experienced band of 82 men. <laughs> wow. Um, not right now, guys. 
I will take the piece to Captain Kidd's treasure, which is near Tom's Rest, obviously, where he was based at. We'll stop that way on the way to uh, go say hello to the Marquis. And... Okay, I thought he was heading to Santiago. Did I get... I chose... I wrong town, didn't I? Where's the journal? Baron Raimundo seen in Santiago. Well, I'm here. No? no they're not going to give me any info. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's fly back in here, I guess. I need to uh, repair the rev uh, the Hell's Bells anyway. And get an upgrade. St. Augustine info. Okay, letting me know about Baron Raimundo. That's good. Okay, apparently I'm missing something. <clears throat> they have lost their minds. I guess we have to go to another... Uh, another town. So... Oh, there's an invasion force. I keep on thinking that may be Raimundo's ship. Well, let's head to Port Royal. Maybe uh, a <laughs> Royale with cheese. Port Royal will probably have some uh, better information, since they're the more friendly English sort. Not that English people are more friendly than Spanish people. I guess to Blackjack and all that he has done and all the ships he has sank. Definitely. So, 33 men? That's better. I'll take 110. Information. Okay. He's heading to Portobello. Ah, straight south. Good, good, good. Now, do I get promoted? War with the Spanish and the Dutch. Hey, Baron. Now I got a feather in my cap, quite literally. 350 more acres. Oh. <clears throat> well. Yeah, why not? Now that I know what we can do here. <laughs> Pray for me, guys. I need all the help I can get. Uh huh. If I just get. If I just kiss her on the hand, it's something. Okay, there's a twirl. That's good. That's another twirl. Ah. That's what I'm- I'm just pressing both buttons, actually. Because that actually will work. I've seen. Okay. Doing good so far. Doing very good, actually. Ah! Crap. Come on, now. There's so much bad and so much good. It's going a little bit faster so I can't cheat it. Ow. Mm-hmm. I need to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to memorize the dance moves, or at least have them typed out so I can see what they are. So I did not... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my boots were made for fighting. Sad days. Oh well. Well, we gave it a shot, didn't we? So, the Hell's Bells is going to be heading to take care of Baron Raimondo one more time, and if we're able, are lucky and able to get a good map piece, we'll rescue the Grandfather and then gather up the crew for the Marquee. I hope you guys have enjoyed the playthrough so far. If you liked the video, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.